Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it a glory to praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves now for this celebration, we ask the Lord to heal us of our failures, heal us of our illnesses, and to help us try always to do his will. And so we pause for a moment and ask the Lord for his forgiveness for those times we failed to show our love to him. We say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor your, you with all your mind and love everyone in truth of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in the reign of the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. Absalom happened to run into some of David's followers. Absalom was riding a mule, and the mule passed under the thick branches of a great oak. Absalom's head caught fast in the oak, and he was left hanging between heaven and earth, while the mule he was riding went on. Someone saw this and told Joab, I have just seen Absalom, he said, hanging from an oak. And Joab took three lances in his hand and thrust them into Absalom's heart while he was still alive there in the oak tree. David was sitting between the two gates. The lookout had gone up to the roof and of the gate on the ramparts. He looked up and saw a man running all by himself. The watch called out to the king and told him, The king said, Move aside and stand there. He moved aside and stood waiting. Then the Cushite arrived. Good news for my lord the king, cried the Cushite. The lord has vindicated your cause today by ridding you of all who rebelled against you. Is all well with young Absalom? The king asked the Cushite. May the enemies of the Lord my king, the Cushite answered, and all who rebelled against you to your hurt, share the lot of that young man. The king shuddered. He went up to the room over the gate and burst into tears. And weeping said, My son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, would I had not died, would I had died in your place? Absalom, my son, my son. Word was brought to Joab The king is now weeping and mourning for Absalom, and that day's victory was turned into mourning. For all the troops, because they learned that the king was grieving for his son. 
and the troops returned stealthily that day to the town as troops creep back ashamed when routed in battle. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Turn your ear, Lord, and give answer. Turn, Turn your ear, Lord, and, and give, give answer. answer. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer. For I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. Turn your ear, Lord, and give answer. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord. For I, I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. Turn your ear, Lord, and give answer. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. Turn your ear, Lord, and give answer. Let's all stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia. can come to the Father except through me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus had crossed in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered round him and he stayed by the lakeside. Then one of the synagogue officials came up, Jairus by name, and seeing him, fell at his feet and pleaded with him earnestly, saying, My little daughter is desperately sick. Do come and lay your hands on her to make her better and save her life. Jesus went with him, and a large crowd followed him. They were all pressing around him. Now there was a woman who had suffered from a hemorrhage for twelve years. After long and painful treatment under various doctors, she had spent all she had without being any the better for it. In fact, she was getting worse. She had heard about Jesus and she came up behind him through the crowd and touched his cloak. If I can touch even his clothes, she had told herself, I will be well again. And the source of the bleeding dried up instantly and she felt in herself that she was cured of her complaint. Immediately aware that power had gone out from him, Jesus turned round in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? 
His disciples said to him, You see how the crowd is pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? But he continued to look all round to see who had done it. And when the woman came forward, frightened and trembling because she knew what had happened to her, she fell at his feet and told him the whole truth. My daughter, he said, your faith has restored you to health. Go in peace and be free from your complaint. While he was still speaking, some people arrived from the house of the synagogue official to say, Your daughter is dead. Why put the master to any further trouble? But Jesus had overheard this remark of theirs, and he said to the official, Do not be afraid, only have faith. And he allowed no one to go with him except Peter and James and John, the brother of James. So they came to the official's house, and Jesus noticed all the commotion with the people weeping, wailing unrestrainedly. He went in and said to them, Why all this commotion and crying? The child is not dead, but asleep. But they laughed at him. So he turned them all out, and taking with him the child's father and mother and his own companions, he went into the place where the child lay. And taking the child by the hand, he said to her, Talitha kum, which means, little girl, I tell you to get up. The little girl got up at once and began to walk about, for she was twelve years old. At this they were overcome with astonishment, and he ordered them strictly not to let anyone know about it, and told them to give her something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. So we have Jesus healing on two occasions. A woman who had spent all her money with the doctors, who just wasted that money and didn't, weren't really bothered about her. And all she had to do was to touch Jesus. And she believed. And she was healed. And the little girl was seriously ill in bed. And Jesus came and just said to her, Talitha Kum, which means, little girl, I tell you to get up. And immediately she got up and was walking about the room. And Jesus, realizing also that she hadn't eaten for a little while, tells the parents to give her something to eat. The care that Jesus had for both the woman and the child the care that he has for us, if we have the faith to turn to him and ask him for his help, we can be sure that we will receive that help and he will be with us throughout our lives. So we stand now for our prayers. God is close to us in our sufferings. He supports us in our pain. He is with us in all conflicts and griefs of life, with the sick and the dying, the injured and the maimed, the results of man's failure to live in peace with his fellow man. We pray for the repose of the soul of Adama Stanislas, whose anniversary it is and for whom we're offering this Mass. 
Lord, in your mercy. Let us pray that the Church may witness to the pointlessness of violence and war in our world and the pressing need for peace. Lord, in your mercy. We pray that we may persevere in effort to live a good life, to avoid sin and to accept the inevitable difficulties of frust the frustrations of life. Lord, in your mercy. We pray too for parents who have lost a child, that the pain of their grief may not overcome their faith in the goodness and love of God. Lord, in your mercy. We pray too for all our young people who are preparing now this term and next term for their major examinations that the Holy Spirit will guide and help them. Lord, in your mercy. And let us pray for the repose of the soul of Monsignor George Mooney. Lord, in your mercy. We ask Mary to join with us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, you are our Father. You have given us everything we have and everything we are. Help us to use wisely the gener and generously the gifts that you have given us to carry out your work in the world. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Bless you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer fruit to the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit to the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in this sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquity. My friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving in itself is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, 
that profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, to celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed Apostles, Saint Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. To save his command and form by divine teaching, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. My soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. An act of spirit communion with those who've joined us online, Lord Jesus. We believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things and we desire to receive into our souls. Since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as you're already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land.
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thank you all very much and have a nice day. So shall I know.